today is going to be special. We're going to have our friends, What's Tom up, and Christian, yep. react to the newest sneakers from World Balance. Of course, these are Filipino brand sneakers, so we'll have them check them out, get their thoughts, and what they think about this particular Filipino brand. Let's go. So I'll give you guys a quick intro. So these are World Balance sneakers. They're a Filipino brand. They're mostly affordable sneakers. They okay. sell for around 30 to 40 US dollars each. Okay. So this is a collaboration that they have with Star Wars. So it, it hasn't released yet. Mm. It will release this Saturday. Early they give what? like early pairs. Okay, so, so this is like, this is the Stormtrooper one? So this is the Stormtrooper. Okay. They call it the Imperial Stormtrooper sneaker. So this is for ladies. I am the first immediate impression on these. Balenciaga Triple S. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing big chunky midsole. I like the colorway. Oh, there's cool. There's a stormtrooper on the inside. Yeah. And yeah, at the back also, cool. if you take a look at the back. Oh, and on the back. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Dope. Christian, what do you think? Yeah, this is surprisingly light. I thought it was going to be heavier for what it is, but uh, I like the midsole. Really does give those Bal Balenciaga Triple S vibes. And it's interesting that they also have like different materials too, with the patent leather and then the uh, the mesh. It looks like patent leather, so yeah, for thirty forty dollars, that's a good entry price for a collab shoe, you know. Move to the other room because it was just really noisy with the construction happening outside. So we're now at the unbox dot ph area here at the studio, and we have the second sneaker. So this one, guys, is called Ray. Ray, inspired oh, by the, the character Ray. I haven't seen the new Star Wars, so. I don't know. Boom. It's cool. I don't know what this has to do with the character because I haven't seen the new Star Wars. It has the, the Rebellion logo. Yeah. Is it Rebellion or Resistance? Rebellion. One of the two. Oh, they yeah. changed <laughs> the name in the new one. They did. Right. Yeah, it's not the Rebellion anymore. It's the Resistance. But it has the logo. I can't speak on these. I don't know what this has to do with the character. But what do you think I about mean, the general it's, color? It's cool. It, I like the tans. I like the different mm -hmm. tones like tan and khaki and stuff. I do like the colors. Lots of different materials like leather and canvas and suede, a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, not a shoe, not a shoe I think I could pull off. It's definitely like a woman's exclusive color. Is is the character a girl in Star Wars? Yeah. I don't I don't keep up. You don't watch Star Wars? I don't. You? I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. This is like the wrong video I to me. I saw the last Jedi. I saw the last I've seen the original one. <laughs> so this one is like Dark Vader. Okay. Wow, yeah, these look very Darth Vader. <laughs> All black, little bits of red, Darth Vader on the back, Darth Vader on the insole. Can that come out? Oh yeah, here we go, Darth Vader on the insole. That's pretty cool. I don't know, I, I'm not a fan of all black shoes, personally. Like I want there to be like a white midsole or something. But it's pretty cool, I like, you know, if you're a fan of Darth Vader, you're gonna be a fan of the shoe, so. Yeah, this is definitely like, it screams Darth Vader to me. I feel like even if you aren't a fan of Star Wars, you like understand. Big fan, yeah, you'd still understand it's a Darth Vader shoe just by seeing it. And if you're not a fan of Star Wars, you can still wear this too, because it doesn't scream, you know, Star Wars branding all over the place. It's just very subtle hints, but like the tongue with the details and on the back, we have the Darth Vader uh, logo here as well. So, you know, it's, it's a good all black shoe. Yeah. I don't think they, uh, I don't think you can really mess this up. This is pretty well done. Okay, and the last sneaker I want to show you guys, and this is actually a gift for Tom. Oh, really? Like, oh, welcome here. Well, thank you. So this, this is, is the best the... day of my life. <laughs> guys, I'm getting free sneakers. I've been here two hours. <laughs> so this is the World Balance, what's it called? Court Glider, okay. aka the LeBron 16. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are, you know what this is? This is the LeBron 16 mixed with the Curry 4s. Fours, fours. I think. That's hilarious. This is literally like LeBron 16 Curry 4s. Less than $40 for that one. That's hilarious. Well, if I play basketball while I'm out here, I will definitely be wearing these because I didn't bring basketball shoes. It has like an air bubble, has this like rubber on the, this is actually a good idea. The rubber on the toe, that's going to keep it from wearing down. That's actually a good idea. But yeah, wow. This really looks like a LeBron <laughs> Take 16. Take a look at the outsole. <laughs> this is like the exact same outsole. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Christian, your thoughts? Yeah, these are uh, these are something. I'm not a big LeBron guy. I think the last LeBron I liked was like the LeBron 11. But uh, yeah, these really look like the LeBron 16s. It's like the the budget LeBron 16. I just wonder how they perform. You know, if they're gonna break after two or three games or two or three sessions. But maybe we'll find out this trip at like DJ Big Boy Cheng's house. At yeah. The basketball yeah, we'll court. definitely try to make a trip there. We'll see. Cool. Yeah, these are these are different. You know, these are really close to the actual LeBron 16. If you yeah. told me these were the LeBron 16s, or if I saw these from afar. I would have thought these were the LeBron 16s. So if you guys were to pick like one favorite of all the sneakers that I showed you, which one would it be? Mm. 
Um, hmm. Another Project Steeds. <laughs> I would probably pick the. Yeah, I'd probably pick those, the Stormtroopers. I, uh, I'd go with that too, also. I yeah. think Tom's right on that. I think that's just the cleanest colorway, black and white, nice and Easiest simple. to wear, I'm all yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, so make sure to subscribe to their channels. I'll put links down below. Also, they will be at Beyond the Culture yes, sir. this Sunday. So do Sunday, a, October Do 20th. like a quick plug invite. <laughs> well, we're speaking at panels. It's going to be fun. We're going to be talking about how to be a YouTuber. I think people are telling you how to start reselling or something like that. And of course, it's going to be an awesome sneaker convention. I'm there. Christian's there. Carlo's there. All your favorite people are there. So you should come through. Come. Take a photo with us. We're not in the Philippines very often. This is the Tom's very first, first time, time here. He's, he's here open. Could, yeah. be, <laughs> could be my only time. If yeah. you don't come and I don't have a good time, then it's going to be my only time. Yeah, so. so come through. Don't disappoint Tom. Don't disappoint us. And uh, it's going to be a fun, a fun Sunday. So yeah. Beyond the Culture, October 20. Boom. Okay. So before we close the vlog out, I just want to do one more quick unboxing for you guys. By the way, I'd love to see all of you again beyond the culture this Sunday, October 20. To close out the vlog, I'm unboxing another sneaker. This is the Air Jordan 34. So it is the latest Jordan sneaker, uh, Jordan brand sneaker. And while I don't play basketball that much anymore, <laughs> uh, it is something that I still wanted to you know, break out by, uh, mainly because I am really curious as to what the latest and greatest is from Jordan brand. So let's take a look at the Jordan 34. So this is the box. So you have three excess, which basically means 34. And you have the details of the sneaker over here. It says or Air, or Air Jordan 34 PF, white university red and black in size 13. So if we pop the box open, let's just slide this out so that it's easy. Uh, there you guys see it. It is that really nice white, black, and red sneaker. Now here are some things that really jump out. First, it's super light on hand, especially when you compare it to the Jordan 33. They also did the way with that fast fit system, which I really hated. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my review of the 33, I'll put the link down below, check it out. And then we have the Nike Air logo here at the back. You have that space over here in the middle. Now, while you're probably thinking it might be very similar to the Nike Shocks or Shooks, or whatever you want to pronounce that, it, this one is actually so much more comfortable to wear compared to that particular shoe. It is also very breathable, the material, as you guys can see here, it's almost transparent, both on the lateral and the medial side. And you have a more traditional tongue compared to the previous lacing system. And yeah, it's a really nice sneaker. Now, I actually wore this a couple of days ago, and I can tell you that it is one of the more comfortable basketball shoes that you can wear for casual slash lifestyle. Now, usually basketball sneakers are super snug, super tight, because they are built for containment. But this one, I really feel, can double as a lifestyle shoe. So I am excited to see what the other colorways collaborations will come out featuring the 34. And that's actually our unboxing of the Jordan 34. Let me know what you guys think of the sneaker. I'd love to hear from all of you in the comment section down below. Go. And guys, don't forget, we are still doing the giveaways. We're giving away a Yeezy 700 Inertia. We are drawing the winner to that very soon. We're giving away the Power Beats Pro. We're giving away a Realme 5, as well as a Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. All the details to all of the giveaways are in the description box. Check them out. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Join our Facebook community. Read the mechanics. Follow the mechanics. And then wait for the draw dates. Guys, that's it for now. See you October 20, Beyond the Culture. Bam! So guys, I saw that in the last video on our Power Up, you all appreciated the video that we had with Chinky Tan. Uh, and one of the questions that he, that I always get is what is what should be my first investment? So this is like you working already, you have a salary, and you're looking at what are the various like investment tools that, you, that are available to you. Because most of you just put it in the bank, and usually you're just in the bank, and there's no plan, you'll spend it. So, <laughs> so that's what we'll do today. So we have Chinky again for our Power of Words of Wisdom, and I'll share with you tips on what should be your first investment if ever let's go boom go chingy hi there this is Tan, also known as mr ching positive if you already are going to receive or receiving your first income and your salary the best thing that you can use your money with is to buy protection when i say protection this is what we call as income replacement fund when you say income replacement fund just in case something happens to the breadwinner the family can continue to live the lifestyle that they choose and when you talk about income replacement fund, why do I need a protection money? It's because just like having a car. If you have a car, do you have a spare tire? Yes. Why do you have a spare tire? 
just in case just in case something happens to, to the tire it gets flat you can replace it and it can bring you to the next place that you want to go this is so strange it's strange that a car is a spare tire but in terms of our what income in terms of our finance we don't have what we call as a spare what uh, income and that's what we call as income replacement fund and second if you look at a car does a car have an insurance does a car have a protection yes just in case it gets scratched it gets bumped or if not naman uh, it gets, for example you meet an accident you have money to spare it's so strange that the car is insured but the driver is not protected <laughs> so it's very important that's the reason why I encourage you as young people and then as uh, people who are the age of 20s or probably 30s the first investment or the first thing that you need to buy is buy protection money and why reason number one if you're below 35 there won't be any uh, any what medical checkup and number two it is very affordable believe me you will regret it you will regret it if you buy it later because number one you need to have a medical checkup what if you need have the money but you are not any more qualified and number two the prices will go up double triple quadruple as you age so buy medical protection or buy, buy what it calls uh, protection in terms of how do you buy protection it's in the form of what life insurance okay guys that's the best tip that i can give you right now especially if you are young this chingitan saying to every problem there's always a solution if you're not part of the solution you're part of the problem always check positive